piece by piece. Crews loaded up what was left of an 85 foot boat in the Sacramento River, piling it up onto a barge. This is what the boat looked like yesterday before the demolition. In June, the boat caught on fire west of Sand Cove Park. The State Department of Fish and Wildlife responded when there was a concern oil might spill into the waterway. It's a call they get often. About a thousand per year and about around 25% of these responses are releases of petroleum from abandoned and or derelict vessels. Sacramento County also says it's a problem. Natasha Drain is the governmental relations and legislative officer. Commercial vessels pose a significant threat to the environment and also a threat to boaters on the waterway. In Sacramento County, there are more than 30 boats that are abandoned or in bad shape. In the Sacramento San Joaquin Delta, there are more than 50. So who's responsible for removing them? There are a lot of federal, state and local partners that have some expertise or responsibilities as it relates to removing these vessels. And there's no mechanism that brings those partners together now. Now, state lands is doing the removal today on an emergency request, and we can't remove all the vessels in this state on emergency requests. She says Senate Bill 1065 making its way through the legislature now will help creating a council to coordinate cleanup efforts in the state and take a closer look at the scope of the problem. We need a program in order to identify them statewide and in order to bring these partners together to remove them. The state for $25 million to fund the program. The bill has passed the Senate and they're hopeful that it will make it out of an assembly committee and onto the floor for a vote next. Live in West Sacramento, Liz Amy Tree, KCRA 3 News. Yeah, that is quite the operation there, Liz Amy, thanks.